I've only been turkey hunting for probably, I guess, eight years now. Uh, I started a little bit later. My father never got me into it. This is my first time ever taking uh, a youth out turkey hunting. Um, I've always wanted to, I just never had the opportunity. And, uh, I heard about Austin needed somebody to take and I figured I'd be there, so I knew we could get it done. They're right over there, there's a gobbler. Let's hope that turkey just skirts around that and comes up here. Like I said, this is one of their spots, a strut, so they want to come here. If they if they gobble right after my call, that's a good sign, okay? So listen real careful. Everybody said it's so hard and it you got it's the hardest one to hunt and I figure right, I'll get a little older and I'll go try it when I'm a little more mature. And then we come down here and we got in the blind. We had some hunters walk down the ridge right there on us, and we started hearing some gobbles up the holler here. We, we heard some gobbles, but they were a little late, um, but they seemed to be down in the bottom, just far away. And you know, as a turkey hunter, most people would understand that if you don't hear a bird pretty close, your motivation and your, your excitement's pretty, pretty down in the dumps. Uh, it's not like deer hunting when you just get lucky and hopefully a deer walks by. Uh, if you don't hear those birds, there might not be one around. You know, usually they're gobbling, they're communicating. I, I kind of understood because I've kind I've been watching, like the Lordsman TV a lot, just watching on how to how they do it and stuff. I've been trying to watch that kind of stuff. Well, to me, I've only been on with TWRA for um, just about a year now, and uh, you know, going through interview processes and whatnot, I've always stated numerous times that the youth and our future generation is the number one thing to our natural resources. Um, you know, you could manage them, uh, you can protect them, but in the end, we need youth to get out there and, uh, and continue to harvest these animals and, and manage them. Future generations are definitely the number one thing for our natural resources. I love photography, I love videography. Um, I've had that camera for years now, and I just, I don't have that many opportunities to take it, take it out and, and film other people. I try to do some filming on my own, but it's, it's, it's hard, it's difficult. And, and like you say, I was hunting with the camera. And I'm glad Austin got to experience the fact that, you know, we're battling the wind. We're battling the fact that we're just not hearing them, at least close. And uh, there's a chance we weren't gonna see anything this morning, but just being patient and, and waiting, um, we heard something coming and, and it could have been a deer, but it was in fact a big time. Let him come in your shoot. When that turkey was just down the hill, Seen this one right over there on the by the dirt mounds, and he finally came out. Austin was calm. He was very calm. But once that turkey came up on this pipeline, he, I never seen someone shake so bad. He was shaking like a leaf. And but I, I give him so much, you know. He, he did really well because when that turkey was to his left, he could have killed him. He could have shot him all day long but he was patient. He waited for that bird to come right in front of us. Put it right below his neck. Okay. When you're ready, you kill that turkey. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta take the safety off. Yeah, just focus on him, don't look at me. I will say that his, his gun was up for a good three minutes, and that whole three minutes he was shaking like a leaf. Great shot. I was a little nervous when, when he finally was going to pull that trigger. He was he was pretty shaky, but uh, you know, like I said, he persevered and he made a, a great shot. And that turkey hit the floor, and uh, he didn't move. So it, it really, truly, as a turkey hunter, it doesn't get any better than that right there. I'm a turkey hunter now for life. Everybody should try this. <laughs>